Hello, welcome to biology, the center study of life. Action potentials are the signals conducted by axons. If a cell has gated ion channels, its membrane potential may change in response to stimu stimuli that open or close those um, channels. Some such uh, stimuli trigger a hyper uh, polarization. Uh, an increase um, in the magnitude of the membrane potential in the or the, the inside of the membrane becomes more negative hyperpolarizations may be caused by uh, the opening of a gated k positive channels which increases the membrane's uh, permeability to k positive and causes the potential to approach uh, equilibrium k uh, which means uh, uh, minus 92 uh, millivoltage at 37 uh, Celsius degree, uh, degrees other stimuli trigger uh, depolarization a reduction in the many a magnitude uh, of the membrane potential the inside of the membrane becomes less negative uh, depolarizations may be due to the opening of gated NA positive channels which increases the membrane's permeability to NA positive and causes the potential to approach equilibrium NA uh, minus 6 or oh, positive uh, 62 uh, millivoltage uh, at 37 uh, Celsius degree. These changes in membrane potential are called graded potentials because the magnitude of the hyperpolarization or depolarization varies with the strength of the stimulus. A larger stimulus causes a larger change in permeability and thus a larger change in the membrane potential. Protection of action potentials. In mass neurons, uh, depolarization is graded only up to a certain membrane voltage called a threshold. A stimulus strong enough to produce depolarization that reach the threshold, um, threshold triggers a different type of response called an action potential. Notice this figure. An action potential is an or non uh, phenomenon. Once triggered, it has a magnitude that um, is independent of the strength of the triggering stimulus. Uh, action potentials are the signals that carry information along axons. Uh, sometimes over great distances such as from your toes uh, to your spinal cord the action potentials of mass neurons are very brief only about one to two milliseconds in duration having brief action potentials enables a neuron to produce them at a high frequency this feature is significant because neurons encode information in their action potential frequency for example in the sensory neurons that function in the knee-jerk reflex action potential frequency is related to the magnitude the and suddenness of stretch in the um, uh, equadiceps uh, muscle as no as shown here in this figure um, illustrates both voltage gated in a positive and uh, voltage gated k positive notice that a closer look um channels uh, notice also um and both must be open for in a positive to diffuse through the channel notice stage one um uh, notice this resting state at the resting potential, the activation gate is closed and the activation gate is open on must and a positive channels. Uh, depolarization of the membrane rapidly opens the activation gate and slowly closes the uh, inactivation gate. I, each voltage gated K positive channel has just one gate, an activation gate at the resting potential. The activation gate on most K positive channels is closed. Depolarization of the membrane slowly opens the K positive channels activation gate. How does this channel properties contribute to the protection of an action potential? Stage two, the answer notice that when a stimulus Depolar, uh, depolarizes uh, the uh, 
uh, membrane, the activation gets ill on some NA positive channels, open, allowing more NA positive to diffuse into the cell. The NA positive uh, influx causes, uh, causes uh, further uh, depolarization, which opens the activation gates on still more NA positive channels, allowing even more NA positive to diffuse into the cell and so on. Notice stage 3, rising phase of the action potential. Uh, once the uh, threshold is crossed, this positive feedback cycle rapidly brings to the membrane potential close to the equilibrium in egg during the rising phase. 4. Notice that. Um, this is the cycle. Uh, notice the channels also generation of an action potential and the cycle numbers. Notice that. Uh, notice also, however, two events prevent the membrane potential from actually reaching equilibri equilibrium uh, in A positive at the inactivation gates on must in A positive channels close, halting in A positive influx, and notice the activation gates on must K positive channels open causing a rapid influx of K-positive. Both events quickly bring the membrane potential back toward equilibrium K during the falling phase. Five, and the last one, in fact, the final phase of an action potential called the endrostod or uh, the uh, undershoot uh, the membrane's permeability to K-positive is higher than at rest, so the membrane potential is closer to uh, equilibrium K than it is and the resting potential. The K-positive channel's activation gets eventually close and the membrane potential returns the resting potential and um, uh, the NA positive channels uh, inactivation gets remain closed during the falling phase and the early part of the undershoot as a result of uh, a second depolar depolar depolarizing stimulus occurs during this period, it will be enabled to trigger an action potential that downtime falling an action potential when a second action uh, potential cannot be initiated uh, is called a refractory period. This interval sets a limit on the maximum frequency, uh, frequency at which action potentials can be generated. Conduction of action potentials. For an action potential to function as a long distance signals, or signal, it must travel without this uh, or diminishing uh, from the cell body to the uh, sympathetic terminals. It does so by regenerating itself along the axon. At the site where an action potential is initiated, usually the axon helix, in a positive influx during the rising phase creates an electrical current that depolarizes the neighboring region of the axon membrane. Notice this figure. The, uh, the depolarization in the neighboring region is large enough to reach the uh, threshold. Uh, causing the action potential to be uh, reinitiated there. This process is repeated many times as the action potential travels the length of the axon. Immediately behind the traveling zone, the depolarization due to a positive influx is a zone of repolarization uh, due to K positive or K positive uh, influx in the uh, repolarized. Uh, zone in the activation gates of NA positive channel are still closed frequency uh, consequently the in inward current that depolarizing or depolarizes the axon membrane ahead of the action potential can um, cannot produce another action potential behind it this prevents action potentials um, from traveling back toward the cell body. Thus, once an action potential starts, it normally moves uh, in only one direction toward the synab uh, uh, or sympathetic terminals. Conduction speed. Several factors affect the speed at which action potentials are conducted. One factor is the diameter of the axon. Notice that the larger or wider. 
uh, the axon's diameter, the faster the, con uh, the conduction. This is the, uh, or this is because resistance to the follow of electrical current is inversely uh, uh, proportional to the cross-sectional area of a conductor, such as a wire of a, or an axon. As an analogy, think about how a wide host offer, offers less resistance to the flow of water than a narrow host does. Similarly, a wide axon provides less resistance to the uh, depolarizing current associated with an action potential than a narrow axon does. Hence, the resulting depolarization can spread further uh, along with the interior of wide axon, bringing more distances regions of the membrane to the uh, threshold centimeters per second in very narrow axons to about 100 meter each second in the giant axons of squids and some uh, arthro uh, arthropods. This giant axon function in behavioral responses requiring great speed such as the backward tail flap that enables a uh, lobster or a uh, crayfish to escape from a predator. A different means of increasing the conduction speed of uh, action potentials have evolved in vertebrates. Recall that many vertebrate axons are surrounded by a myelin sheath. Myelin increases the conduction speed of action uh, potentials by ins um, uh, insu insulating the axon membrane. Uh, insulation has uh, the same effect uh, as increasing the axon's diameter. It causes the depolarizing current associated with an action potential to spread further along the anterior of the axon, bringing uh, more distance regions of the membrane of uh, to the um, threshold uh, sooner. The great advantage of myelination uh, is uh, its space efficiency. A myelinated axon uh, 20 um, um, Micro, micro, micrometer or micrometer in diameter has about the same conduction speed as a squid giant axon diameter one millimeter. About more than two thousands of those myelinated axons could be backed into the space occupied by just one giant axon. In a myelinated axon, voltage-gated and A-positive and K-positive channels are concentrated at gaps in the myelin sheath called uh, nodes of um, Ronivere, Ronivia. The extracellular fluid is in a contact uh, with the axon membrane only uh, the nodes. Uh, as a result, uh, action potentials are not generated in the regions between the nodes. Rather, the inward current produced during the rising phase of the action potential at a node travels all the way to the next node where it depolarizes uh, the membrane and generates a new action potential. This mechanism is called uh, saltatory conduction from the Latin along the axon of, uh, from the Latin uh, salter to leap because the action potential appears to jump along the axon from node to node. Saltatory the conduction can transmit action potentials at a speed up to 180 uh, meter or meter each second in myelinated axons. Okay. Thanks for listening.